Hello and welcome. Today I wanted to tell you about how to create items in Dynamics 365 of finance and operations and retail and commerce and many, many other things using a media library. In the past, I was creating these items, kind of hacking, like, hey, here is a URL, go get the item in there. And for some reason it started working. So I decided to learn how to do it the proper way. So if you're interested, let's get started. We are going to first to decide where we're going to store the images. I'm going to use an example of Azure storage. We're going to set up the base URL for that storage. And we're going to examine the naming conventions that our items have to adhere to. We're going to define the media template that defines all these naming conventions and defines the extensions of the files that can be there. We're going to upload the files, run the specific jobs so that the items appear on the point of sale and check what it takes to take them to the e-commerce. Normally media libraries are hosted on some content delivery servers and with the simple out of the box, one box, we were providing one. However, if you're working with more sandbox environments, then you have to hook it up to your real content delivery servers. If you don't have one, you could use Azure Blob Storage. And let me explain you how. First, you go into the uh, your Azure subscription, into a storage account, you create a resource group, and in the resource group, you could create a Blob container. So you create a new Blob container, let's say test two, and it, within this Blob container, you set the public access and I did set it up so that I can access the container and the blobs then within this you create a folder called products this is quite important because we use the naming conventions in here once you have created the folder called products you could just drag and drop the files in here you see that the files are named specifically here first it's an item id secondly it's a bunch of zeros three zeros and thirdly this is the number sequence how the images will show up and zero one obviously goes first zero two goes second etc and these are the naming conventions we have in system and we have a way to define them. So let's drop the files and pop over to the retail headquarters to see how we are defining all of these naming conventions. These naming conventions are defined by the, the menu item. The menu item which is hidden in a place that is unintuitive. I would refresh the brain of the person who has put the menu item in here. Define media template. So define media template, what it does is defines the product path and the extension that the system will expect of the files in here. So what you've got to do is that after you've clicked this menu item, define media template, you click generate URLs. When the URLs are generated, this basically creates a bunch of strings and these strings are being passed onto the um, point of sale server and the point of sale server will expect all, all of these, um, the mPause will look up according to this string. You can also edit these things in Excel and this was, is also where you're able to add your custom URLs, for example, one-offs and things that don't adhere to the naming convention. Another thing that we will have to uh, specify before we begin with the media library is under retail and commerce, under the setup, we are going to go to channels and that's going to be channel profiles channel setup and channel profiles here it is so in here this is where we specify 
basically that Azure storage blob and you specify the topmost um, thing in here. The way for you to find out the uh, root basically of the URL is the easiest one I found is to get the shared access signature and you basically say I want this and it, it will give you the the URL if you're not sure if you, if you forgot where you're creating all of these things. Now let's talk about what we are trying to achieve here. We want the images to appear at the point of sale and also on the e-commerce website. Uh, we have just defined where the base of the URL is, what the naming convention should be. So the POS doesn't know about this yet. So in order for the point of sale to know where to look for, we have to run some jobs. Let's run the job. So we're going to go to distribution schedule. This is where all of these jobs are stored for historical reasons. They were named since day one when we got the product like this, but you could rename them to something more useful um, that actually tells you what it is. So we'll, we're going to run job 1040. I'm going to say run now and we're going to run 170 and 1150. Now um, you have my permission to go have a coffee break or a tea break because it will take a minute to so perfect time for the blue. Now I will go to the point of sale and type in coffee. These are the items that I was uh, putting in, in here today, uh, the coffee machine. So this is the file that I was uploading and dropping into the um, Azure Storage Explorer. So these, this is the coffee machine. The coffee machine works. Yay. So in the C pause, it works. Let's take a look at whether it works at the e-commerce website. So we're going to go in and search for coffee. And apparently it's not so smooth. So we have to do some extra things for the coffee. These extra things, they entail dropping the file into the media library. So the commerce has a separate media library. It takes care of the sizing and serving the files in the correct size. So what we'll do is we'll drop the items right into the media folder. See what happens. So select the category. This is important because this is how it knows what to attach the image to because you have maybe a category header that should be used when you're browsing through the categories and you're navigating back and forth. We're going to select the product and in here we're going to say coffee for example. So let's uh, wait for the processing to happen in here. So two items here show up as published. Now let's go back and check whether they have appeared at the website. Now that we have the files published, let's go back to our website and do another search. Here's coffee. Here's the coffee machine. Great. So now we are able to come in, take a look at it and switch the image. To summarize, you can use Azure storage, create a container, share that container so that it has public access. You could then drop the files into that container, take the base of the URL, and then paste that base for the media library parameter for the channel. Then you should find that button to define the media template, generate the URLs, 
Then you should run the jobs and voila, you have the files displayed in the point of sale in order to have the images on the e-commerce side you should take some extra steps and you'll have it this is all you need to know in order to have images with your files in dynamics 365 for finance and operations and retail and commerce if you like that video and you think that define media template button should be moved Click that like button and consider subscribing. Until next time, goodbye.